This program is suitable for all audiences. Hello, I'm Valerie McKenzie and thanks for joining us at www.morningtalk.com. Now there are so many CSR projects today, but there's one we're going to be talking about with a difference. It's to help the hotel industry, the small hotels, to become more sustainable in their growth. Just click and you're going to find out all that you need to know. You know, it's been pretty tough in the hotel industry over the last uh, year or two, or maybe even longer. But we, when we talk about the hotel industry, we always think about the larger hotels. What about the small hotels? They must be really doing it tough, one would think, particularly when you've realised that they don't have anyone to go to do their marketing internationally. They've still got to get the guests in and still got to pay their bills. So it appears that the Keenan Institute has been working alongside Citigroup and they've come up with a campaign to help the smaller hotels. What's it all about? Let me introduce firstly the Director of Marketing and Project Development Division of Keenan Institute Asia, Dr. Sai Sawan Watanapanin. Sadika, thank you for joining us. Nice to have you back. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. It yes. has. <laughs> and also the owner of or proprietor of a hotel called Seven Design Hotel, Kun Pailin Jane Sangun Piapan. Very nice to meet you. I hope the pronunciation was not too bad, Perfect. but the N's and G's are quite <laughs> difficult for the Farang, you know. Yeah, what we call her is easier. So, you know, how in fact did this project start, Dr. Saswan? Uh, well, this project, actually, uh, we got funding from, from City Foundation. City Foundation has a program that they call Corporate Social Responsibility, mm -hmm. and uh, they want to uh, help the com community. We have worked with the uh, City Foundation for many projects. Well, the previous one aimed at microfinance, at Bricks Women, and this time we think that, well, just like you just mentioned, mm. for the small hotel, they might need some, some kind of support or assistance. So, uh, we did some work with uh, UNEP, United Nations Environmental Program on hotel, on mm. the small hotel. So we believe that the tools that we got from UNEP should be able to help the small hotel. So that's why we, we proposed it to City Foundation and City Foundation agreed on this project. So they, they mm -hmm. gave us some funding to, to run the project to help SME in uh, CSR and also uh, environmental management. Mm. Kun Jane, are you new to the hotel industry? Yeah, basically brand new. <laughs> <laughs> Your hotel is, uh, is called the Seven Hotel. Exactly, yep. Because it's got seven rooms, or why? No, it has six rooms. Um, most people think that it's um, seven comes from the number of rooms, but it's actually um, coming from um, the Thai seven days of the week. Mm -hmm. um, so okay. with six rooms plus the lobby, we have um, seven, seven colors and um, mm -hmm. seven theme rooms. You weren't in the hotel industry before. It's a really tough industry. You might have a passion, but why the hell would you get involved? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been it's been fun and tough ride, mm. but um, yeah, mostly fun. Mm. Um, and how long have you been opened? Uh, almost three years now. Mm. Three years. Right. So how did you two connect with each other? <laughs> Actually, when we had this program, we 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 contact the hotel association mm. that we would like to 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 provide these uh, tools uh, to the small hotel so they help promote in this program for, for us. Mm. That's why Kun Jane got the letter, the invitation to join this program. Great opportunity. Mm. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, it's the first time that um, we you know, being approached um, by anyone, you know, to, to help us um, grow our business mm. and to help us um, manage, um, you know, all sort of things that, um, you know, it's 
being in demand, really. <laughs> mm, very much so. Yeah. So tell us, what, what in fact are you offering? to actually, Because what you say is that you're giving this em empowering small hotels business towards sustainable growth. So how do you do that? Uh, well, we provide a, a, a training program for three days. Mm. And the uh, elements in, in that training program mainly is that we have uh, the, the software, which we call Envirotel. This software will help the, the hotel manager uh, to manage the environmental, uh, yeah, all the environmental uh, things in the hotel effectively. And uh, it will also help redu reducing the cost. Yeah, mm. I have to say. It, it was impressive. Um, I learned so much from the program. Basically, you know, I, you know, the it um, started from um, the CSR, you know, I didn't really know so much about CSR, but at the hotel we've been doing an um, environmental, you know, friendly program ourselves. Mm -hmm. But um, with the program, um, you go in and they teach you um, basically from start to finish. It's just not, not, not just um, doing um, anything like green, but um, how to manage it, how to calculate it, is it like worth doing it? all the way to like I'm um, using it as a marketing tool for your So the implementation too. Right. Yeah, exactly. How from the experience you have over three years, are people really asking for hotels to be environmentally sensitive? Is that why people choose you? Increasingly. You you'd be surprised because um increasingly um when we started off um at the hotel we use um, plastic bottles in the hotel, mm -hmm. uh, complimentary water, mm -hmm. and um, we, can, we get a lot of um, customers from um, Germany, you know, like Europe and, and Australia and America, mm -hmm. and um, I'll say 50% that, that comes to the hotel, they said, why do you use plastic? Mm. You know, why not? Interesting, you know, like, huh? Mm. Yeah. Like, d mm -hmm. don't you realize um, that, you know, plastic, you know, it contributes so much to waste and, you know, like, yeah. it's bad for the environment. And, um, so they're very vocal. Very, very vocal, yeah. Mm. And um, so I did a research, uh, okay, what, what, what should we do then, mm. you know, to, to help and, and reduce some um, of the waste and... Uh, so that's why we have um, the, the no plastic bottle campaign at the hotel. Mm. <coughs> excuse me. You've got, <coughs> excuse me again, you've got Keenan Institute, you've got UNEP, and you've got City Foundation right. who are funding it. Right. Mm -hmm. So what part does UNEP play now? The UNEP has uh, the software that I, 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 I mentioned it before. Mm -hmm. The software was written by Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Mohanty. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and it's quite simple and easy, but yeah. it helps, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, if you change the bulb, the light bulb, uh, from this one to this one, you can calculate how much you can uh, mm. uh, save. So it's not saving. a matter of investing. You don't, you're not suggesting these people invest more to save no, no, long no, term. No, not, not really, not, mm. not, not that one. Mm. So, so it mainly Junep gave us the, the software that we can get uh, so, so they can use it, you know, mm. all the hotel, the small hotel. And Keenan just managed the project. City Foundation gave us money. And manage. you developed the actual we program. Did, we, mm. we did develop the, the, the training program for them. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, without, without um, the training that we received, um, you know, I've been thinking about changing the bulbs <laughs> to LED for a long time. Never got around to it because um, it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. upfront cost mm -hmm. right. and we thought okay maybe like leave it next year mm -hmm. next year mm -hmm. but um dr mohanty um in you know, during the course um with them using the environmental as well um it taught us that basically the you know you recoup your investment so quickly that it's mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. worth it doing mm -hmm. now than later mm -hmm. right okay. so i mean everyone thinks about when you're actually getting involved with the environment or environmental issues or environmental products it's going to cost a lot but i guess nobody sits down and does the mm -hmm. sums the pluses and the minus and how quickly you'll recoup yeah. mm -hmm. what about the um what would i say the other innovations that you've actually learned from this program program um, you know brought um, a lot of small hotels together mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um, most of the people who attend the seminars are you know proprietor uh, they, they, the owner of the business and when we get together um, it, it breeds some new you know like ideas um, you can share ideas too can't right. you exactly mm. so for example um, uh, this lady um, that owns some um, wonderful hotel on Sukhumvit she said um, basically she changed she 
grow some lemongrass um, mm -hmm. outside her hotel. Mm -hmm. Basically, it reduces um, you know the number of mosquitoes, right. and it's um, you right. can use it as a welcome drink. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, basically yes. from that, we incredible, <laughs> isn't it? Very interesting. So you've done that. So yeah, immediately after because um, the the program is about three weeks. Mm -hmm. So immediately after, after we got back from um, the first you know like like training. Um, we yeah we planted them. And what did the staff think? You were crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, some, how about the lemongrass? I heard about that. That's a good thing also. Yeah. Yes. My, mm. Mm. So I mean, when you actually say to them, from the lemongrass, the mosquitoes will reduce. I mean, I guess people are really interested in getting involved. Exactly. Right. Mm. I mean, the, my staff they you know like they get on their hands and knees and you know start mm. <laughs> growing. <Right. planting>, yeah. <laughs> Is this program? only for this group of people or if people are interested in watching the program how can they get involved <laughs> have to be the next phase the next phase uh -huh. <laughs> this is is uh, the, the the first time that not really the first time we organize it is uh, the third time already mm. uh, the first time we organize in phuket and mm. the second time in chiang mai and mm. it's the third but but for the first time and the second time well, we got funding from 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 another right. organization, uh, but this time a city foundation. No, it's not the city foundation. I have to ask you, it's tough in a tough industry. Yep. You had a passion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you go and do a lot of homework first about opening this hotel, mm -hmm. or you were pretty confident that it's a business, and every business is the same. You just got to work at it. No, it's not about working at it. It's about planning. Yeah. You, you have to have um, a very good concept to start with. Mm -hmm. You have to know your target market and um, you have to know like um, what the target market wants and how do you reach them. Mm -hmm. What is the biggest challenge for you? The biggest mm -hmm. challenge for me is that um, uh, today's traveller, they're becoming more and more sophisticated in their needs. Mm -hmm. um, so, and you have to basically determine how you know like you, you, you get on top of that needs mm. and um, so today it's not really about you know like putting chocolate on the pillows anymore mm. you have to know um, for all of the trends like okay like green is you know like on right. a trend right now so mm. it's on a trend mm. right now energy saving yes and um, you know, the, the travel is changing they, they're mm -hmm. looking for more like um, a smaller, more intimate hotel that mm -hmm. you walk in and people remember your name. Yeah, that's, you know. yeah. I think that's very true that's because, very true. you know, you go to the big hotels and I remember some person many, many years ago said to me, don't you get sick of travelling around the world going to meetings? But, oh, it must be exciting to go into different hotels. Mm -hmm. And I won't use the brand name, but I said, you know what, I go, the company has a policy of using this brand. And it doesn't matter if I'm this brand hotel in Los Angeles or New York or Brussels or London or... Hong Kong is just another brand X hotel room. It's the same. I could be in any country in the world. And I think that's right. People are becoming more sophisticated. But I'm interested in uh, asking you probably the final question is challenges for the future. What are they? Um, well, I think the challenge for the future is um, basically uh, there's more and more um, smaller hotels, um, you know, getting on board now. So how do you distinguish mm. yourself from, from, from your competitors? Mm. You know, it's not about being unique, it's not about being small anymore and remembering your, your customer's name, but basically um, where, you know, like your, the direction that um, your customer's going. Um, mm. So you have to be on top of that all the time. You almost have to be ahead of the trend. Yeah. Exactly. Mm, exactly. exactly. Jane, thank you very much for joining us. Dr. Sice won another project next year. Irrespective of who the sponsor is, you'll continue with this process with UNEP. Right, right. Yeah, we still focus on, on the CSR project. So this is one of the CSR projects. It's a great and concept. Mm. Thank you both very much for joining Thank us. You very Thank much. you. Thank you.